finally made it to the entrance of the Chocolate Hills, a famous place here in Bohol. It's about two hours from the city center. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's two hours from the city center. I'm um, about to buy my ticket. You gotta come to this entrance parking lot. And then, I think it's like 50 pesos. So I'm gonna take you on that right now. Let's see how much it actually costs. And uh, see how the process is. So yo, here's a ticket counter right now. Yes. So this is the ticket booth. 100 pesos sir. Now I just take the ticket. Yes sir. And just go the shuttle to... The is free. Shuttle sir going up. Alright so it was 100 pesos apparently. I don't know if that's true or not but that's what they said. The price went up. Okay so we got to take a shuttle now. Where do we get the shuttle? Huh? Oh yeah sir. Yeah? Alright. Thank you so much. It's one of the top tourist destinations here on this island. You guys have to check this out. The whole drive here, you see these hills, like they're just insane formation. And like you can see behind me, it's pretty insane. The way you have to go up though, you get dropped off in this parking lot, you gotta take a shuttle, it's 100 for a ticket. And that's the stairs right there. So you're just gonna literally work your way up the hill and that's the viewpoint. When you're at the viewpoint, apparently it's supposed to be unreal. So I'm gonna do the drone. Let's see if I'm able to do the drone. If they say no, I'm gonna have to find a sneaky spot and take it up. But yeah, yeah, incredible guys. The view does not disappoint, highly recommend it. It's crazy. So let's go upstairs now. Let's go take a look at the real view. So these are the steps to go up. Apparently there's 200 steps exactly, so... It's a little bit of a workout. But they're not like steep, so it's easy. Cool little like... Part you just go up. I had no breakfast too, so I barely got any energy to even go up these stairs. Look at the views. Alright, I'm gonna take a break. I think I'm halfway up. Or like actually more than halfway, but I'm tired as fuck, so... Take a break right now. People are missioning it. I had no breakfast, so no energy. <laughs> the views are sick though at these spots. So what's really cool is these chocolate hills, there's about 1,260 hills in this area. Uh, in the dry season, these hills go brown and that's where they get their name, Chocolate Hills. But right now it's a summer season, so it's green hills right now, they got grass on the hills. Super cool though and unique. Um, but other than that, there's about 1,776 hills spread over the 50 kilometers here, square kilometers here. So it's really cool. Alright guys, so check this out. Finally made my ass up these stairs. I'll show you guys a view, it looks incredible. Hills don't disappoint. <laughs> These chocolate hills. <laughs> I'm tired, man. Anything comes close to Bali, it's this view right here. It is incredible. Look at this. Just acres and the landscape, the way like Bali's got beautiful rice fields. It's like stacked, boom, 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 boom. But this, it like glides back there. Like it's crazy. Like this shit, crazy. Both sides, behold, on the way towards uh, Chocolate Hills, this is the view. Alright guys, so we made it to the Tarzir place. This is another huge, huge attraction here in Bohol, aside from the chocolates. And this is going to be a lot of fun. I'll show you guys how it kind of looks right now. Check this out. It's the parking entrance is here. Let's see what the vibes are inside, yeah? Let's see these Tarziers. Take a booth. Regulars 120, students 110, seniors 100. 
one? One hundred? One twenty. Huh? One hundred twenty. Yeah. Alright, so we got the ticket. That's how the ticket looks. Let's see what the vibes are. I love the hole, that's what it says. Yes, sir, okay. there are guides upstairs. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Alright, so we just follow the people, I guess. No flashes, they're hella sensitive. My first impression was when I saw the Tarzir were that they were super cute. They're the size of your palm, super tiny. Um, you can see that you only get a chance to see them from a distance because they are very sensitive animals, uh, especially to light. You can see their eyeballs, they're very big. And when you see them for the first time, it's really, really cool. 